picked up exactly where he left off, dusting qualified lightweights left and right. The guy only knows one direction. It is forward. He is impossible to fatigue as Tony Ferguson graces the octagon once again tonight. This guy is one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history, and really a guy who has taken the sport by storm. His win over Jose Aldo, Nate Diaz, most recently Eddie Alvarez. Remarkable what McGregor has accomplished in a short time in the UFC. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's All go, right, go. the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM. Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Well, you talk about must-see TV. This guy is as watchable as any fighter on the roster. His longtime cornerman Eddie Bravo says he'll train six hours straight. Tonight we're scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nobody is going to out-condition El Fukui. Tony Ferguson. Oh, he's timing his shots nicely now. The kick gets through. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And now that jab starting to get established. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Finds his range with the jab. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Oh, there he connected. Punches block. Tags him. So on Oh, big right hand. Huge right hand. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? He's got him right here. side control, and what he wants to do is, he wants to pin that hand down, slide his hand under his opponent's arm, securing the double wrist lock position, then step over his opponent's neck, and, and stun there it is. Stunning, and he really made it look easy. He set up the submission and locked it in for the tap. Excellent job. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there.